when you guys are multiplying, you can obviously use foil, but I've found it's very, very helpful when you're multiplying to organize them using the box method. So in this case, I can organize this as 3 plus the square root of 5 and 1 plus square root of 5. Now I simply just find the area of each box. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times square root of 5 is square root of 5. 3 times square root of 5 is 3 square root of 5. 3 times the square root of 5 is 3 square root of 5. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 25. So now, again, we notice that square root of 5 and square root of 5, those have the same index. They're both square roots. And they both have the same radicand. So therefore, I can combine these. And we know the square root of five, 25 is equal to 5. So now I see that these are both numbers. So my final answer is 3 plus 5, which is 8. Square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 5 is going to be 4 square root of 5.